it's Ken Sheets heading back to Phoenix, and uh, let's just do a uh, United Airlines terminal meditation. I've always found this to uh, be such a beautiful uh, space. So sit back and enjoy the United Airlines theme song. <laughs> Interesting thought is that every one of these people is the star of their own life. They say we only meet about five to ten thousand people in our lifetime. That's over an entire lifetime. So right now, someone's looking over at me from another thing and saying, well, "Who's that weird guy filming?" <laughs> and uh, I'm just an extra in their life. And of course, they've just been an extra in my life. So it's a very uh, precious thing when you meet people and really get to know them. They're only going to be one out of several thousand that you'll meet in a lifetime. And of course the people we get to know very well is even a remarkably smaller number. That's why sitcoms work so well. It's about the size of our personal universe. You're excused! <laughs> running late for their planes, I'm sure. See, I, I was just uh, an obstacle in her life. <laughs> this guy, oh my goodness. Will he make it? Will he make it to his plane? That's his story. Architecture here is just really cool. I think Helmut Jan is the architect. It's one of the best things he's ever done. He's not one of my favorite architects. He tends to uh, detail things in such a way that the buildings get. Well, you, you look at the state of Illinois building. That's all you got to know about Helmut Jan. <laughs> I think it's falling apart. Of course, we don't know if that's the contractor buying inferior materials. But I did have a meeting once with Helmut Jan, where I was the architect for interiors analyzing his design for the core of a building. And uh, Helmut, uh, Helmut didn't like that. saying to me, you interior architects are all alike, all you want is column free space. Well, he had placed the columns right in the center of the elevator lobby, which would have meant that someone having in a reception room would have a big fat column where they'd want to have their main entrance. But I think he really did a great job with this. 
geometry of it is sacred, I would say. A lot of circles. Doesn't it remind you of the clouds? Abstracted into architecture. I'm here early enough to do it twice. I went uh, out and I'm coming back again. So I realized oh, this could make a really nifty video for you guys. I'm Ken Sheets, and uh, if you Google me on YouTube or on Google itself, just type in coolest meditation ever and watch what comes up. And I'm about to uh, take my meditations in Antarctica that made me the holder of the number one title on Google for coolest meditation ever for three years solid now and transform those into a feature length documentary It'll be about 70 minutes it's a short feature doc and I think for documentary that, that length is really nice documentary for 90 minutes gets to be tedious this won't be like any other documentary because uh, I'm literally doing a meditation somewhat tongue-in-cheek to uh, save the world and uh, everybody was all freaked out about the Mayan pole shift and uh, my spirit guidance uh, really got to be intense about that it's really still intense I shouldn't say it was intense but I was not guided to places like I'm being guided to right now it's very gentle I mean to be taken all the way down to uh, South America and Antarctica by your meditations it was not what I was expecting <laughs> alright well this is Ken Sheets signing off at the United Airlines Terminal in Chicago here peace out